Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm gonna talk about Array. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'm gonna give you a very good example of when we're gonna use this, okay? For, imagine that I have this following, string uh, name one, and I can create another variable called name two, and another one called name three, okay? So that's something that could happen, and I'm gonna print name one and I'm gonna copy this and paste copy and paste let me just do that and let's go back I'm gonna change right here so I'm gonna try to execute guys and see what happens as you guys can see uh, I think I cannot execute yeah I cannot because the variables are not assigned so uh, name one will be equal uh steve steve uh and num name two would be equal uh peter and name three would be equal to anna okay so that's it uh let's execute now and as you guys can see we have this output okay so pretty awesome we have three variables just keep that in mind okay so but there are some uh, occasions or situations that it would be better if we could only have one object and we could store more than one object inside of them, inside of, the, uh, of it, okay? So that's why we have arrays, because with arrays, we can store multiple uh, variables inside of a single object, okay? So instead of doing this, I'm going to comment right here. What we could do is, try, is to create a string array, okay? Uh, you, to create a string, you, string array, you, you use string, which is the data type, and we use this symbol, which, which I just forgot the name, okay? And you probably, because we are working with more than one object, is a good idea to create the name in, in the plural, okay? So instead of name, I would create names because it's the plural and I can assign uh, this to I'm gonna use brackets okay and I'm gonna create separator uh, variables uh, for instance I'm gonna do the same Steve comma uh, Peter comma Anna so this is will be the equivalent okay so this is the same thing but they are different because now I only have one object, okay? So because I only have one object, it's much easier to work now. So how do I do to access the first name? So I probably will use names, but instead of using name one, I'm gonna show the first name. To show the first name, we're gonna use the index. And the first index, it's located in the zero. Okay, so the zero is the first index, the second would be one, and the third one would be located in the two index number. I uh, just, okay, so that's it guys. Um, let's execute and let's see what is the output. As you guys can see right here, we have the same output, but we did differently. So. As you guys can see, this approach using arrays is much better. Uh, you uh, spend less time worrying about some issues that we might encounter. And sometimes that's better, okay? Sometimes it's even better using this uh, because when you are working with loops that we're gonna see later on, you guys will see that this is much better than just creating single variables to ever uh, value you're gonna store, okay? so. This is the video guys, I hope you could understand what I just shown here and see you guys next time.